Hey everyone, this is Charles, and today we're going to look at um, heat sinks on CPUs and what, uh, what affects the temperature and how we can make the temperature possibly go down. And we're going to start out with a pretty disgusting uh, heat sink that is really clogged with dirt. I don't know if you can see that quite. Very disgusting. And then on the other side, it's already got some compound that has been wiped off and on the side and everything and at first just gonna put that on and uh, see what temperature we get and we're gonna actually put it on a different board that it uh, than it originally came off of because it came off of a Pentium uh, 3 socket 370 board and we're gonna put it on a socket 7 board with a AMD K62 just for fun to see uh, to see what happens anyway so I've got this Epox EPMVP4F board and it's gonna go on there got our power supply and we're gonna hook it up to big screen TV and check out what temperature uh, it starts out at and then for the second part of it we'll clean off the bottom and put some uh, put some thermal compound on it, just a, enough of a, a dab. Uh, this thermal compound here, which isn't uh, bad, you can pick them up for about uh, between four to eight bucks depending on where you shop. And uh, then we'll make sure we clean out this disgusting part in the top and review each time to see uh, if it makes a real big difference in the, in the temperature. So I'm uh, going to set the camera down now and uh, come back once uh, the machine's all assembled. Alright, we're back and what I'm going to do is, you might be wondering, I didn't have a power switch for this and that's quite correct. I'm actually going to jumper the power right here and you'll see the system turn on and we'll watch the screen here comes PC we'll hit delete and sensor and CPU and our current temperature is 25 and climbing here so 25 degrees Celsius 77 Fahrenheit and we'll just let this run for oh a few minutes because it's uh, it probably doesn't reflect the accurate temperature of the system because it hasn't been running at all, it's outside of the case and as a matter of fact I've actually had the board in storage for quite some time and it's probably been cooled off quite a bit. So 27 degrees it's, it's climbing and let's check the current time and then we'll tell you uh, how much in say three minutes okay come back in three minutes and tell you what the temperature is at okay so it's been roughly about three minutes now and as you can see the temperature has climbed to 37 degrees Celsius um, 98 degrees Fahrenheit and it's still climbing so it, it is climbing slowly, but it's climbing nonetheless. So let's see what, uh, we're going to let it cool down for maybe three or four minutes. I'm going to clean off the uh, bottom of the fan and see where it takes us. So at 38 degrees, I'm shutting it down. Okay, here we go in the second part of this uh, cleaned off the bottom of the uh, of the heat sink and now we're going to power it on again and see what the other compound has done for our temperature sensor 19 degrees so it has made a little bit of a difference here um, 
Mind you, when we first turned on the computer, it was 20 degrees, so we'll see. Maybe it's just, uh, we'll see how far it climbs in three minutes. So we'll try the same thing again and uh, come back in three minutes and let you know how the temperature has climbed. All right, so three minutes are up and what we've got is actually 26 degrees Celsius. So not bad. Um, it's actually not gone up as, as much. So definitely cleaning off the bottom and uh, of the heat sink does help in terms of the uh, CPU temperature. And we're going to just let it sit a little bit longer. Let's go to that uh, that fourth minute just to make sure that I hadn't let it go uh, longer before. And uh, it has climbed still. It's climbed to 27 degrees. And in 15 seconds approximately, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's still 27 degrees, not bad, but the fan is still disgustingly dirty. So let's shut down the system, see what difference that makes. This time, what I am going to do though is, it has gone up to 28, what I am going to do is I am going to um, actually leave the heat sink on the CPU and I'm just going to remove the uh, fan and clean off the fan and clean off the heat sink. So just before I uh, clean this up, I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's off. You can see the amount of dirt that's just, uh, you know, caked on top of this heat sink, as well as on the bottom of the fan. This is, uh, yes, this is actually the bottom of the heat sink fan. So um, I'm going to take a handy dandy toothbrush and actually use the toothbrush to clean this. I, I recommend actually a small painter's brush. Works a little bit better, but in a pinch you can use a toothbrush. Uh, painter's brushes, actually I, I picked them up from uh, a dollar store. Not the thin, thin kind, but a little wider bristle and that uh, the thin kind, what happens, they, they are good for getting in small places, but they tend not to be uh, sturdy enough to um, really clean off a lot of dirt, so use something a little thicker. Okay, so this is our last uh, last time turning on the system. Uh, we have somewhat cleaned out the uh, the fan. It's it's by all means not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was before. So uh, we're gonna start it up here. Hear it whirring, and let's see. Into the BIOS here, sensor in 22 degrees right off the bat, so it's actually gotten warmer. But I didn't take the heat sink off. 23. Let's see how high it goes. So we'll let it sit for about three minutes there and uh, come back in about three. Okay, I'm back. It's actually been about five minutes and five minutes later um, the temperature is a solid 28 degrees Celsius. Now this might seem like it's uh, high, but I can assure you it's not. It's been stuck there for, oh, a few minutes at least. Um, so it went up to 28 degrees and then seems to be stable between 27 and 28 degrees.
And uh, so that's that's it.